Hello everyone, this is uh, Juan Saco from Exploit Pack. On, on this uh, video, I'm going to show you choose uh, 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 one of the features uh, of Exploit Pack. So basically, yeah, choose uh, uh, you need to get the latest version. There is a version 12 uh, from exploitpack.com and choose run it uh, uh, as, I, as I did. Choose uh, um, do java minus jar exploitpack.jar or in Windows you can choose double click on the jar file as well. So after you have run it, yes, so uh, yeah, choose close those windows. And then when you are here, uh, one of the features that I would like to show you is how to use the editor. Yeah, basically, you will have here on the right side of the screen the editor of X-ray pack. And from here, what you can start is to add new modules. So uh, you can add a, a new module, you can edit the, the module that you are using, save it, clear, uh, create a rope chain based on the module for the module that uh, you have, uh, send to shell, preference, and run on terminal. So um, from here, you can also on the editor itself, what you can do is to also press control space and then you will uh, be able to get the uh, auto completion that is available for you. For instance, if you want to add a shell code, you can choose press control space and add the shell code directly from here as well. For instance, let's, uh, let's add this one for Windows 32 bits. And there you have it. And when you are finished using your model, created your model, what you can do is to export the module by creating creating an XML file that uh, and then you can also uh, import new modules when you have it you want to share it uh, with someone else and then you can choose uh, go there and find it and import it into your exploit pack um, exploit pack by itself it will create inside the exploit folder two files for you once you create a new module so basically you will have the XML file so let's take a look uh, for the one that is the skeleton and you will see that you will have all the properties for the uh, for the exploit that you are writing and you can also you can edit it from uh, from uh, a text editor i'm using beam right now but you can also do it directly from excel pack if you click on the edit uh, button itself so from here you can change the model name out or the platform that is going to affect uh, as target, the exploit type, visit client side, remote, local, or web attack, special arguments, and the service that is affected, uh, if there is a CV or not, the port affected, the category, and the shellcode type that you are running, uh, and also a small description for it. And all these properties, they are going to be uh, used when you are running the auto pound feature. So, because the auto pound is going to uh, select the exploits that it, you that Autopan will run based on the scan, the previous scan from Nmap, and then using the field using those filters, it's gonna select the exploit. So basically, if you are trying to uh, attack an Apache server, a web server, if you don't uh, choose the right port, port 80 or 8080, or it doesn't matter, or the service that is affected, HTTP uh, slash HTTPS. Uh, if you don't do that, then Autopan is gonna, it's not gonna be able to find the exploit that you, uh, that you made. And it's pretty uh, straightforward. Basically, it's just the XML file that it will be created for you when you click on Add, uh, add New Module from here, directly from the from the button itself inside Exploit Pack, and they will choose create this uh, XML file, and you have to fill the properties. And as you can see, one of the properties is gonna be the the code name that is this one skeleton exploit pack p uh, it doesn't have to be a python file it could be any uh, any other um, interpreter that you wish to use for instance you 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 can write your own your own exploit code in ruby in perl uh, even in bash or whatever you like it most even it could be a binary in c precompile it or or something like it and the uh, what is going to have is inside the code uh, folder I'm here, exploit pack, exploit code, and inside code you will have the exploit itself. So if we if we go to the same exploit, and that is a skeleton exploit.p, uh, basically you will find it here, right? That's the that's the code that you will see here. Yeah. So as I say, you can. Oh, no, sorry, I'm showing a different one. It's this one, the skeleton. And as I said, uh, well, you can edit it directly with your with your preferred editor, or you can use as well the the editor from Exploit.
Explet from Explet Pack. Well, guys, I think that was all. I hope you like this uh, small tutorial on how to uh, work with uh, uh, exploits uh, inside Explet Pack. And see you in the next tutorial. Bye.